Morning. It's going to be a really quick video, hopefully, probably about five minutes. I got a question from my LL on my other Play Canvas videos, the Solar System one, where I basically built a mini version of our Solar System in 3D. But he asks, um, I would like to know how to add a video to an element, whether it is from TV, please. So <clears throat> I've done this once on Play Canvas and implemented it once. I built this uh, gallery, virtual gallery for an art show we did a while ago called. It was like a lockdown. It was in the lockdown, basically. So I'll just demonstrate how that works quickly. So we've got the we've got. I'll show you how it actually works in the <coughs> and then I'll demo. I'll talk about the actual code and script how to implement. This actually took me a long time to figure out when I when I um, originally implemented this on the um, on this project. Uh, it took. Yeah, it was like one of the harder things to work out, actually. It took me, a, it was a bit of a struggle to find out about it and how exactly to achieve this. The video streaming on a texture, so it should load pretty soon. I think it's almost done, and then we should, I can demo what that looks like. I implemented spatial audio in this version as well, so let's just move around. Okay, good. There you go, that's the streaming video, so it's actually a, it's actually a um, song and music video by a dismembered sound booth, the band, my friend Mark Rathmore's band. So yeah, that's the that's basic demonstration of what we want to achieve. We want to have a Play Canvas project like this, and we want to stream some video from hosted on a server somewhere, and basically just get that to, to stream. That's that. So, where do we want to put our script? So obviously we need to create a script, but I've, we want to create it on the root. We add a, um, yeah, we add a comp script component to the root. So add a script component to the root. Then create a new file called script called uh, video texture. So this is this one here. Uh, so this is the code, I'll just make it full screen and zoom it in a bit, so you can see it better, hopefully. Um, how does it get this in? Let's make it a bit bigger, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this should be big enough now to read. So I'm just going to talk about each part <coughs> of the script and exactly what it's doing. I can link to a copy of this script if you want, and um, that's fine, I'll probably just post it on a cloud hosting with an appropriate link so you can actually open this up and look at it yourself if you like so we've got var just the create your script uh, we want to add an attribute so we add an attribute of materials asset and then the, the following type so asset uh, asset type material array true and just do that for now for that part so we're adding an attribute which we go back an attribute is shows up in the actual menu as this so you got you see that's an attribute we've added that's an attribute so you have custom attributes which is really useful so that the, the next one down i see which says type string added of type string so that's that one and this is the first one which is the array where you can yeah just select which materials to use that's that part there we go, wash. hopefully you know what uh, the difference between uh yeah you know string and, and, that, and an array blah 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 Okay, so this is this first initialized uh, function is um, called once. Uh, so if you to what's happening to the music I was listening to. Break. I just that's where I'm. Um, so video texture initialize. So, app is just a reference to this entire thing. Um, so, I don't fully understand all the reasons for having to do this, but uh, we need to create a texture that can hold the, uh, the frame data. So, basically just copy and paste this. I'm not gonna go big detail into what it does because in all honesty, I'm not really that sure. This was definitely something that I copied from online. But sometimes it's all right. So basically just need to copy this stuff here 
And then this is creating the HTML video element to actually play the video. Um, so this, I can explain this, this is create an element of type video, with this sort of imagine a tag of Missili in the HTML. Um, add an event listener for can play, set the source to video. So this, that we've created this element, we just set it to this source as the source. And then we have the video URL, which if you remember is the asset that we created above. Uh, I think, right? Uh, this video uh, URL. Yep, this video URL, so it's that. That's what it's referencing there. If that makes sense. So this is the, yeah. We need to add this, cross origin anonymous. We want to loop the video. You could also set that to true or false. So this is for, uh, this is for, this is for, if we're, yeah, if we're all loop, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Preload true, I think that's important for some cross browser stuff. Video play, it plays the video, it plays the actual video. So we've got the material we want to, we added wherever we want the video to stream. So remember that's called, uh, <coughs> Oh, bit, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then we get this material which we've defined. Yeah, this material, this materials. That's remember the uh, up above. That is this. So we're referencing that when we when we're referencing this materials index value index resource. It's one of the attributes on that. And then we just check it to video immersive video texture, which was set before up here. And then has a very, so we set video texture to video texture. And then this upload equals true. And then this is the update. So this prototype update is a function where it's, co it's called every single second, basically. So just some a bit of code that runs every single second. And in this example, we have uh, this upload equals this not upload. If this is uploaded, then video texture upload. And that runs every second, basically. So that's that in a nutshell. Um, if I go, I'll just quickly talk. So that's the actual script part. Uh, now I'll cover the actual other little part of it, which is basically uh, so this is the URL location for where this is hosted on the my on the on the server that, on the server that this domain is on. Right, so I'll go into this bit. So it's basically hosted just in the folder underneath the domain. So if I go to the actual domain, because this is obviously on the Play Canvas editor, but yeah, this will be important to go into. So this is the, where the file is hosted, and. Uh, so this is the actual like stuff. It, this is what it's streaming onto that texture, right? Okay. So, so I hope that helped. Just to show you how to do uh, get a video playing on a texture and play canvas. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, one issue you might come across, which I know was an issue, was. Um, Video streams getting blocked, probably by cause. Um, you can look up ways around to fix that on uh, online. Um, I th um, and if you have any questions about hosting and that sort of thing, where to host it, you can ask me as well. I'll try and give a decent answer. Um, but that's that. Um, like I said, it might just run into some problems, but I've tried to come in. So, like and subscribe if you like that. And, uh,